This video introduces how to troubleshooting client roaming failures with Wagia Cloud. A wireless client may encounter disconnections when transitioning between access points. To facilitate seamless wireless roaming, there should be a signal overlap zone between the source AP and the target AP. For example, the RAP 2260G provides coverage up to a radius of 30 meters in an open environment, but various obstacles may reduce its coverage. In an open environment, if the distance between two access points exceeds 60 meters or there is no signal overlap zone due to obstacles, clients will fail to roam seamlessly between the two access points. Client roaming may fail if the SSID or encryption mode of the source AP and the target AP are different. When severe channel interference occurs between the source AP and the target AP, it can lead to a reduction in the effective coverage of wireless signals, resulting in a negative impact on the client roaming experience. When the source AP and the target AP belong to the same project, use the same SSID name, but are assigned to different LANs, client roaming will still fail if layer 3 roaming is not enabled. Please note that Wagia Cloud does not support layer 3 roaming across projects. If the SSID of the target AP is abnormal, clients may be unable to connect to the AP, resulting in roaming failure. In this video, we will break down the 5 causes of roaming failure and present step-by-step -step troubleshooting strategies to help you resolve the issue. If there are physical obstacles like windows, doors, walls, or metal frames blocking wireless signals, try removing these obstacles or adjusting the AP installation position to minimize signal interference. If it is not possible to remove the obstacles, an alternative solution is to add more access points to increase wireless coverage. To address this issue, Put the access points into one project and synchronize their SSID configuration. You can use the Wi-Fi optimization feature on Wagia Cloud for channel optimization. Choose Project Configuration Network-wide Optimization Wi-Fi Optimization. Click Enable Wi-Fi Optimization to optimize channels and transmit power of the access points in the project to reduce wireless channel interference. If the source AP and the target AP belong to different projects, first put them into the same project. If they belong to the same project and have the same SSID, but are assigned to different LANs, then choose Project Configuration and Network-wide Optimization AI Roaming L2 L3 Roaming, toggle on L3 Roaming, select the SSID for L3 Roaming, and click Save. If clients are unable to connect to the target AP due to an abnormal SSID, there are four measures that can be taken to resolve the issue. As shown in the topology, both the source AP and the target AP belong to VLAN 70. First, if the access switch at the uplink of the target AP does not allow VLAN 70 to pass through, clients may encounter difficulties obtaining an IP address, resulting in disconnection after roaming. In this case, choose Project Configuration a Device Config and Switch Interface. Set interface GI3 on the switch that connects to the target AP to allow VLAN 70 to pass through. Second, if DHCP snooping is enabled on a switch without a trust port configured, clients may encounter difficulties obtaining an IP address, resulting in disconnection after roaming. In this case, choose project configuration device config switch DHCP snooping. If DHCP snooping is enabled on the switch, then configure GI3 as the trust port, or simply disable DHCP snooping. Third, if an RSSI threshold is set for both the source AP and the target AP, clients that fall below the RSSI threshold may experience difficulty accessing the target AP once they are disconnected by the source AP. 
In this case, choose configuration device config a wireless radio, disable RSSI threshold or set a lower value. Last, if a client limit is configured for the target AP, new clients will not be able to connect to the AP once the maximum number of connected clients is reached. To address this issue, choose configuration device config wireless radio, set a higher client limit or add additional access points. To follow this issue, comment on our video or send an email to us. See you in the next video.